Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siawash is here and today I want to show you how to use the multi-layer switch in Packet Tracer environment work as a router for your network. This video is actually based on the, or one of our discussion in the YouTube channel and on video about the inter-VLAN routing with the multi-layer switch. As you can see, we have some discussion about how we can use the multi-layer switch to work as a pure router for our networks. So let's start to configuration. Before we are starting, I want to explain about how's our scenario. We got two different networks on the left and the right. Left is 192.168.1.0/24, and the right side is a 192.168.2.0/24 network. These two networks are connected through this multi-layer switch and there are no any configuration on these two switches here. We also don't have any specific VLAN. You can see here, I enable the switch and use the show VLAN. As you can see, we only have a default VLAN 1 and I want to assign the IP address on the interface on the switch. So first of all, I'll go to the configuration mode and go to the interface FA0 slash 1 which is connected to the 192.168.1.0 networks and I want to assign the IP address by IP address but as you can see when I press the tab there is no autocomplete for this command because currently the interface FA0 slash 1 is in switch port mode and to bring out this interface from the switch port I need to issue no switch port and press enter. After that, I can easily use the IP address command like a pure interface in a real router. So I assign IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0. As you can see, let me zoom for you. You can see here, first of all, we go to the interface. Then we issue no switch port to bring out the interface from the switch port. And finally, easily we can add the IP address and sign our IP address for that interface. By it, I use a no shutdown also. And here I can check the configuration, but show IP interface brief command. And here we go, or fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Now got the sign IP address and the status and the protocol is also up. Now time for the other interface which is connected to the 192.168.2.0 network. Go to global configuration mode interface FA0 slash 2. Again if I issue the IP address command with tab it doesn't work. You cannot see any command for the IP address assignment so issue the no switch port. Then if we use a question mark, you can see the IP is add compared to previous one. And easily I can add the IP address of 192.168.2.1 slash 24, 255.255.255.0 and check again by show IP interface brief. Now both are Faster than 0 slash 1 and faster than 0 slash 2 got the IP address. Let's try can we ping from our station or not? So go to the PC0 here, double check the IP address 192.168.1.10, the default gateway is a 1.1, and go to the command prompt and ping our gateway first of all 192.168. Dot one dot one easily I can let's try to see can I ping the other PC in the other side or not ping 192.168.2.10 and as you can see I couldn't ping the other side because our multi-layer switch is not config for the router functionality and provide the communication between these two networks so go back to multi-layer switch again and I think you can guess what the command is and go to global configuration and its IP routing will enable the routing functionality in our multi-layer switch. So let's issue the command 
tune for better viewing, IP routing, command is very easy. And let's come back and check our PC, use the up arrow key, and this time we expected to see some reply from the other side. Oh, here we go. We got the good, brilliant response from the other side, and if you want, you can check from the other side, from the PC1, to just show you quick, IP address 2.10 and the default gateway is 2.1, which is the interface on the multi-layer switch, and time to ping the other side, 10, and here we go. Now we have full connectivity between the PCs in our network, and theoretically you can issue the no switch port on any interfaces on this multi-layer switch and assign the IP address and connect the different network with different subnet to your multi-layer switch and provide the routing among them. So I hope this video is informative for you. Please leave your comments and your feedbacks and if you request any video, I'll be glad to create those videos for you. So bye for now and see you on next video which I'm going to explain about the access list. Okay, bye for now.